Put it on the pad. <laughs> Oof, so much to talk about. So when we're getting started, we know that our intention is to free the nervous system inside so that the body can heal. That we're not thinking segmentally, we're not thinking about moving bones, we're thinking about releasing the internal tension on the nervous system. And that the adjustment is a way to allow the body to heal, that we're not in charge of correcting or fixing the body, that the body is going to take care of that. And what we want to do is we want to release the tension on the nervous system. That's a job, and that's a role. As a chiropractor, the healing is up to the patient. And we're going to start with the leg check. And we're going to view this short leg going long. That's our positive deer field check. And we want to be watching the pattern, and each person is going to have their certain patterns that they have, which we want to make sure that we get balanced out the best that we can. But on an ongoing basis, we're just going to be watching that to see, are we in balance? Is it getting thrown? Is the person undergoing some stressors? And then as we're looking at that, we're bringing the legs up. And at this point, we're going through the leg check. We're looking at how these are going to change, but then we're also looking at how's the tension then feeling right through here. So how's that tension as we're coming up? And we're starting to get some tension right here on this side. So some people will start, in lieu of having a blown out knee, you'll actually start to feel the leg tension actually, and that's a relationship with the pelvis, how that's expressing itself into the legs as far as distortion of the nervous system. And then as we're checking the legs, we're watching the pelvis. And we see that Pat's pelvis is popping straight up because we should see that low back the lumbar respiratory cycle that as the legs are getting pumped, that it rolls and it releases and it relaxes. Now we watch that come up and then we can see the pelvis going side to side. You can see that the pelvis releases from right to left. So it's coming up high on the right and then it releases towards the left. And you can see the sacrum right there. And you can see this right there. That's tender a pat. Yeah. And then we're going to palpate. And we can see that this side is high. So we got sacral apex left, PI on this side. Now we're going to come in with some droppies. Dorsal spine is compensatory. And we just want to go through and want to free that up. Some people feel like it is the primary. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. And as we're adjusting, we have, you know, we just know in the back of our mind that <coughs> we're releasing the meningeal tension on the inside, and we're thinking about that tension on the inside, the SOT idea, <laughs> sacrum dictating the foundation, good, good. The atlas taking charge up here, and everything in between is going through that compensation. Pat, take a nice deep breath in, and then exhale. So we can also check too, just going through and checking segmentally, and just looking for the elasticity in the spine, and you just want to feel the tone asymmetry or symmetry, and feel the different changes inside the spine. That feels good besides going through, but you can just feel those different changes in the spine. Go in and check. Usually this is a happening a shorter period of time. And then we're going to make a decision. We're going to go through and we're going to scan through our occipital region right here. Look at the upper cervical because upper cervical rules have to get that cleared out. Another place I love to check through is right in the dorsal cervical junction right here. And we've got some rotation right here. And we're going to have Pat take a nice deep breath in. And then we're going to slide from inferior to superior. And then we're going to roll right here. And we're going to 
just set that T2 right there. And then we'll take a nice deep breath in. And then we're going to exhale. And then we're going to slide right in. We're going to come right in laterally. Right there. <laughs> That is a golden move for carpal tunnel and brachial <laughs> plexus neuropathy and right this side cat. Side posture really important to make the person make sure the person's intention. I do not like this cranky. I do not like this cranky. I like to have go, sir. this segment right through here completely isolated and that you're going to adjust the spine and so we're going to be adjusting right here on the sacrum and you can see that we're tying it all in right here so that all the energy is going to be absorbed right here and then right on the other side from your back. So we take out this torsal stretch. We don't want that. Let's start releasing the right the divot pad. Little tidbit of good help for young chiropractors. Don't be adjusting out here. Don't be adjusting with the shoulder. Don't be adjusting out here. Get tied in with the body and adjust with the body. Right there. Right into the back. That feels better anyway. And then we like to finish up. We've already got this cleared up. So that's a derivative of the crank condyle lift, but not really quite as aggressive as they go through the evaluation. Check the ox put right here. And they'll come in with that as the adjustment, but that last quick traction mechanically creates a nice facet opening, but also is a real positive stimulation for the spinal cord, but also adds as a really good test to find out where that person is at with their care. And you can ask that person, where did they feel that stretch through the spine? Because they will feel the subluxation areas, especially as they get started. And as you're doing your work and working, when you stretch that spine, they should be able to feel that all the way down the tailbone. So that's when you know that the spinal cord is getting freed from the inside. So it's like an, almost like an adjustment in itself. How'd you like that adjustment, Pat? Awesome. Right <laughs> on. I don't want to get it. <laughs> 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 Good. Well, I do want to get up.